Three months after, what has happened to the investigation so conducted by the Nigerian Police Force on the alleged nude viral video of a senator elect from Nasara State, Mr. Godia Akwashike? who was mercilessly beaten by talks for attempting to rape Umar Danladi, Evelanza's wife. Has the matter been swept under the carpet? With less than three weeks for the Ninth Assembly to commence, are we going to be having a Kwashiki sworn in as senator with this kind of alleged damaging reputation? Who is Danladi, Evelanza? And who is Godia Akwashiki? Why the silence on the case? Why hasn't anyone been charged to court? These are all pertinent questions that Nigerians and of course the rest of the world would like to get answers for. In an attempt to get answers to some of these questions that other paper in Nigeria set out to investigate the matter, our crew visited the scene of alleged crime and then the Metema police station as well, where the crime was said to have been reported. Though the officers we met on ground declined comments on the matter that the issue was already transferred to the police force headquarters. In our quest to further unravel the truth, other paper took a trip from Abuja to Nasarawa Egon local government in Nasarawa state. From there, the crew boarded a bike going to Mother Station. A Herculean task, anyway, the native land of the boat men. The trip lasted for more than two hours. While on our way to Mother Station, we made a brief stopover at a village called Alese, where we spoke to some youths on the character of boat men. My name is Achku Abimiku, uh, Danladi Halilu in Blue Anza. He's from Lazy, yeah. Then, for that, we don't know that uh, can't problem before with Guda Akwashiki. He's a very good man, as we know usually. Akwashiki is presenting us very well. He has been doing so many things. As you can see that Boho, TS, as the State Assembly, we have never seen we have never seen Guda Akwashi with this kind of attitude or behavior or all this. Never. We have never ever seen something like that. We don't believe with that kind of video that we are hearing and the news we are hearing. Because somebody that we know, we know him very well, he cannot do such of things in this community based on who he be to this community and what he have done to us in this community. We have never heard any news or we have never had any accusation. We have never seen that in this community. I don't know. Maybe they have problems. That is the reason why they behave like that, but we don't know. From Alize, we proceeded to the palace of the district head of Mother Station, Mr. Mustafa Aliu, who spoke extensively on the character of both men and what he knows of the allegations. My name is uh, Alhaji Musa. Ali Yato the second, district head, Mother Station. So, Senator elect, Senator Godia Kwashiki, very well. His Excellency, His Excellency Umar Halilu in Vulanza, I know him too very well. They are from our own Egon community. I know them very well. I was told last Saturday, Godia, she was made naked by Mvulanza family. Well, when I learned it uh, on Saturday, the following morning, because the senator-elect resides at Lafia, yes. I went to see him, and I saw him with a crowd of people who went to sympathize with him. 
Krishna greeted me. He told me he's not feeling well yet to speak to me. I should be pleased to come back home. When he is all right, he will come to me and explain all that happened. But I shall not entertain any fear. He did nothing as influenza family has taken to him. Believe in what he told me very well. Because I know Godia very well. I know his habit. We have been together for a long years. Told that I know Godia when he was not in the house. Okay, sir. When he was a layman like anybody. He was selling petrol at Lafia. Okay. Godia has uh, told at he's all, at all. Not even wife. single even one minute nobody has come to me to, to agitate for Godia doing something wrong for him at all. I've not heard anything. Okay. Never in history except except Al Haji Umar Halil Mvulanza had a clash with somebody by name Al Haji Yusuf Mada. But Al Haji Umar Halil Mvulanza sent people to his house to burn his house. This matter was taken to local government of Nasaraigo. It was me that the local government appointed to settle between them. So and I did settle them. I don't know whether he has been paid anything, but amicably you I settled called, it. I settled the matter and both of them accepted. I have Umar has put me in the bad fixed and I placed a gun as a community into shame. I said, to the best of my knowledge, Godia did nothing bad. Only Umar has set up a calculated attempt to destroy Godia because of political reasons. Godia is from Wana, from Lizzie Kevi. I should have let, let he should have let me know to uh, Mvulanza and Alaji Su. They are all from a uh, development here under me. Okay. The local government sent for me to go. When I went, they handled the matter to me. Okay. It was me who settled the matter. After we were done with the district head, we traveled down to Lafia, the capital of Nasara State, where the senator elect resides and we met him at home. Though he declined to speak on the matter that the Nigerian police force had already commenced investigation on it. My name is Onu Emmanuel. I happen to know Godia Senator elect Godia Kwashki since when he became a member representing Nasara Egon North Central District. And yeah, he has wanted to be my neighbor before he packs to this very um, residence of his now. So that's the little I can say about it. Honestly, in, in person, I happen to know him in person because we happen to worship in the same church. That's Catholic church. He happens to be a Catholic. I'm a Catholic as well. Too. Honestly, to be sincerely speaking with you, humanly, I don't think Godia would have done this act that he's been accused of. We, we all see it. We, the youth and the mass, Entirely, we happen to see it as a setup that Godia cannot do such a thing. Personally, myself, to the extent and to the level I knew him in person, down to his family, to his wife, I know he cannot do such acts. All efforts to get the statement of Alaji Evlanza proved abortive. However, when we reach the police public relations officer, Mr. Frank Mba, he said. The FCT police command was in charge of the case and that we should get in touch with the FCT police command. And when we contacted the FCT police public relations officer, Mr. Menza, 
He said he was currently attending a course that he will make inquiries and get back to us. But as at the time of filing this report, Mr. Menza has not gotten back to other paper in Nigeria. Neither did he respond to messages sent to his phone. Things indicate that the matter may have been swept under the carpet by the high and mighty. But the moral question here is, will Mr. Akwashiki be going into the Senate? with this kind of damaging allegation on his person. Lizzie Chiki reporting for other paper Nigeria.